Mark, how are the team looking ahead of tomorrow night's game? Um, well, we obviously had two two injuries during the game. Um, Steve Sindwell, um we've had checked. Um, slightly better news than we initially thought. He, uh, he's got a grade two um, tear in his knee ligament, so uh, it's likely to be four to six weeks, they think. Uh, obviously, initially we thought it would be much longer than that. So that's a little bit of good news. Uh, Glenn Whelan, um, better news on him as well, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we thought he'd pulled his calf, but seems more likely to be an issue with the cov covering of the muscle. Um, so we're hopeful that he, um, he might be OK in a couple of weeks. You say good news. Inevitably, overall, it's not good news, really, is it? You're losing players left, right and centre at the moment. No, no we, we've just got a spate of it at the moment, and it's... Uh, it's unfortunate because, uh, for the most part, they're all happening in games. And it's Stephen Sidwell one was um, basically, I think it was Lambert, uh, full weight came cr crashing down, down on his leg in a, in, a, in a position which compromised him. And these things happen in football. Um, Glenn's was just uh, something that uh, was getting stiffer and stiffer on him. So uh, you understand when those things bumps and bruises and bangs in games and twists, you can't you can't really legislate for them, they, they will happen. Um, so uh, sometimes you get periods during the season when they all come together and that's what it seems to be like at the moment. Do you have to look at different ideas, different formations for tomorrow night because of their absence? Uh, we'll look at things, I mean we haven't got that many available, we, we probably, uh, the guys that are fit and available uh, they're the only ones we've got in the building we'll be able to get a full bench I hope and as long as we don't have any fallers in, in the week we, thankfully we seem to have got over the bug that we had last week um, nobody else has gone down with it so we're, we're hopeful that's not going to be an issue um, Phil Bardsley obviously was compromised by that at the weekend but the likelihood is that he's going to be okay Never a good time to get to Ongtraff and never an easy time should I say but I imagine you're in confident mood despite the results at the weekend well, yeah, I think we've shown this year we can go anywhere and uh, give a good account of ourselves. Once again, at the weekend, we've gone to Liverpool, where our record isn't great um, in recent times and, and far distant times. So uh, we went there, um, played well, restricted them to very few opportunities, had opportunities ourselves. So we know we can go to places that historically are difficult to get positive points from, but we can go there, get positive performances and uh, on on any given day, if you if you look in and you can... Uh, take your chances then you've got an opportunity to, to win games as we've proved this this year so um, we don't go with any apprehension to, to Old Trafford they, they seem to be actually uh, in a little bit of better form than they were maybe at the beginning of the, of the season um, but from our point of view we, we go in there in, in decent shape in terms of performances uh, results ideally would we would prefer to be better but uh, performance wise I have no complaints you don't like excuses, but you just need that little bit of a look. That's what, how it seems to be at the moment. Well, yeah, well, if you look at the game against Liverpool at the weekend, uh, in almost every aspect of the game, um, we came out on top. Um, I know stats can show you many things, and the, the one damning stat that went against us was the 1-0 defeat. But in, in every other aspect, um, in terms of pos possession, passing, uh, our fitness output, we, we totally dominated the game in that regard. So to not get anything out of the game, and I think I said after the, the match that um, whether or not we did enough uh, to actually take the three points, I wasn't sure about that, but we had chances to do that. But certainly we didn't deserve to, to lose. So in terms of confidence, we're, we're fine. And you went incredibly close to recording a win last year at Old Trafford, didn't you? Yeah, well, well, by all accounts, um, everybody was encouraged by that performance, and I think it was one of the better ones in recent in years in terms of our approach to it. And we had a go and got a couple of goals, and uh, we're unfortunate in the end to to lose that game. So we want a similar performance, similar attitude, plenty of belief, which we showed on that day. And if we do that, then uh, we can cause anybody a problem. So maybe look to the likes of Sam Rasaidi, a little bit of pace to bring into the equation, maybe tomorrow night. Well, we've got guys that uh, haven't had a, a lot of football and we're coming into a big period now, so uh, everybody's going to get games. Uh, we've lost a few through injuries as well, so um, it's all hands on deck. People will will be um, 
obviously available and I'm, I'll have to use them on occasions. Obviously with Bayern, you've got a player who can hurt any team on any given day. Yeah, he's playing really well at the moment. I was really pleased once again. I um, found it a little difficult in the first half, but second half I thought he was outstanding and uh, a lot of our play goes through him now and um, I'm really pleased that he's finding his feet and, and having the, the impression that he is. We, we all knew that we were getting a very good player, but uh, it takes time to, to come to become accustomed to the Premier League, but that's where he is now and uh, he's really enjoying the game. Finally, in the next 24 hours, do you spend too much time looking at what Man United are likely to do or do you just concentrate on your own players? Well, time's shorter, but uh, we approach game against United exactly the same as we do against anybody else. We we look at strengths, weaknesses, areas that we can exploit, areas we, we've got to be strong at uh, to restrict them to chances and then we go through that process before every game.